through adversity. What's the what's the energy? What's the mood like personally and collectively? Uh, snapping a four game losing streak and coming back from a twenty one point hole. Um, like I said the other day, just we need these tests. So, excuse me, I'm very hungry. Just played the NBA game. But, <clears throat> uh, no, no, we uh, shoot the energy in the locker room is. Uh, it's, it's changed drastically since we started the game, I tell you that. Uh, just coming out, getting embarrassed like that on somebody else's home floor for, for what is it, a third consecutive game, uh, you know, giving up 30 plus points in the first quarter and then climbing out of a hole uh, and then coming out of halftime. And then we just uh, intensified our effort on both ends of the floor and we just started playing good basketball. Guys got aggressive. The ball started finding the right people. Uh, had, a few, had a few mistakes here and there on the defensive end, but. We were pretty locked in, knowing that knowing that they were coming off back to back as well. So we just had to withstand a lot of their runs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've said this before. You know, as, as long as you guys are getting a shot on goal on offense, you guys are going to be pretty tough. You know, to contain um, the turnovers were an issue in the first half. You know, wh what are you seeing there with the turnovers, and how were you guys able to clean that up? I know that's going to be important moving forward. Uh you know, obviously it's too many at times uh, when you're trying to get back in the game or just untimely turnovers, you know, those are backbreakers or it's just demoralizing for the team. So uh, anytime we could just, you know, lock in on that end, uh, just making smart passes, we're a better team. You know, when we take care of those possessions, we're just a better team. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, I want to apologize to begin with writing. And so I just now joined, I missed some of the earlier questions, but I just want to ask your take about uh, the poor defense that allowed the Nuggets to score 104 points in three quarters. You guys locked in and you held them to 15 in the final quarter to win. Mm -hmm. And it was a great comeback. But are you concerned about some defensive coming through this stretch? Uh, well, that's a good question, Greg. I, I think we, we have to remain resilient in terms of our effort uh, throughout this stretch uh, as we've been doing. So it's not easy to, you know, just nitpick on one thing that we can get better on the defensive end. It's always going to be a team effort. It's always going to be team responsibility. And, and I think, you can look back a few quotes over the last few games. It's just that we that defensive end is going to be the difference between a good and great team. You know, being able to lock in on that end. And as I said, we were embarrassed. You know, of the last few games, just giving up thirty-two plus points sometimes, thirty-three plus points to these home teams. You know, and you're climbing yourself out of a hole. It's a lot of energy that it takes to climb back in it. So um, I think we're just paying attention to it. We're aware of it. We're conscious of it. And we, and we can't start like that moving forward. And if it does happen, we got to still be able to battle through. That's the game of basketball. We still got to hold our heads high, you know, find each other on, on the offensive end and then get back on defense. You know, it's a difference uh, that you can feel or even just the fans or the uh, an observer can feel just when the, the energy on our team is up and uh, we're doing the right things following the game plan. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kai. Um, I'm curious, you talked about uh, a team effort defensively. Is it, I don't know, fitting, encouraging, whatever word you might want to use, that you had like three different guys that came up with huge defensive plays on Jokic's last, those three misses, I think Joe, and then I think KD, and maybe Nick on the third one. I mean, how encouraging is that? Uh, it's always encouraging when you see maximum effort out there and we're doing the little things uh, for one another. It's always encouraging. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Harry, I'm just wondering, um, in order to maybe replicate some of the urgency that you guys had in the second half without, to borrow your word, embarrassing yourselves in whatever form that may be as you guys march forward, as pl as playoff um, opponents continue to kind of lock in more, what, what's the key to that going to be? Uh, by the way, when I say embarrassing, I just mean just not playing up to our capabilities. Sure, and, and right. Teams are just coming out and doing whatever they want, you know, feel good, you know, guys that are on uh, the other opposing team, you know, supporting te uh, guys on their team are having huge nights sometimes, you know, compliment. That's when it gets embarrassing. We're just not doing the little things for one another. But uh, 
moving forward, we just learn from it. Like I said, this experience and this team has been through so much now. It's really coming down to just doing the little things and really just focusing on that. Um, but what was the first part of your question, Malik? I want to make sure I answer it. No, I, I just wanted to make sure, you know, not to get bogged down in the word embarrassing, but to yeah. to replicate that urgency that you have oh, yeah. when you're down by 21 points. You don't want to have that, especially when you're going into the playoffs. So where does that need to come from intrinsically? Uh, it just comes from our, our preparation and the way we work uh, beforehand. Um, and then the, the game will be a lot more effortless, still catching up on a lot of uh, – you know, rest in between these games. So we 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 understand that we don't want to put um, anything less than our best foot forward when we're out there. You know, this is not guaranteed. Uh, we could feel the pressure in, in terms of, uh, you know, kind of the environment intensifying, you know, and each one of us as individuals have accomplished a lot. But now that we're all kind of in this new thing, you know, we, we really have to figure out uh, – kind of what are our buttons to push? You know, how, how do we get the most out of each other? How do we push each other to that level that we're trying to get to? You know, the regular season is here. You know, this playoff level is here. The refs are going to ref different. The play, players are going to be more locked in in terms of the game plan. Um, and it's really going to come down to who wants it. It's going to be about, you know, kind of like, what is who want, really who wants it? So I like those type of competitive games, and, and we just got to continue to communicate with one another and what we want and what we see. So it's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit uh, longer in the next few games. I'm pretty sure in spurts of, the, uh, of games, but learning. So happy with that. Thank you. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, just would, would you make a Blake's performance, especially that, that third quarter where he really helped dig you guys out of that deficit or, or at least start to? Ah, uh, man, well, just – that's that's who that's who we need Blake to be in terms of uh, being out there and being an option for us, uh, and being a playmaker. Uh, his game has evolved. Uh, you know, we understand that he he's going to play a different style with us out there, and that's going to complement us when he figures that that role out. But right now, we just need him to stay aggressive, playing as our big. You know, and especially on that defensive end, we're asking a lot out of him. So. Uh, we just got to help him out as best we can, just continue to communicate with him. Um, but tonight was a great, great stepping stone for him um, and, and as well as just his role on our team. So, Last question, great. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie. Um, just looking at these last five games in a vacuum, you've had Dame, Giannis twice, Luka, and then Nikola Jokic tonight. Um, is there anything about the attention to detail that's needed to even try to keep some of these star guys in check uh, in these last five games specifically that can help you in the playoffs when basically every game is going to have to be one of those attention to detail types of matchups? I mean, it's fun, man. Anytime you get to go against some of the best players in the league, you obviously know you're going to pay a lot of attention to them in the game plan. You know, there's there's no surprise there. there there's no secret. Um, but you're absolutely right, though, Christian. It, it, the details matter. Um, and, and as you've seen, a lot of series or this regular season series, um, you know, we've been able to make adjustments. Um, sometimes it's going well, sometimes it hasn't. But in the playoffs, when we're all locked in, um, then we just got to be on one accord, you know, one mind. Um, don't <clears throat> want to, you know, kind of be outside of of the team in any way. You know, just stick to what we what we have and trust it. That's the big word. This uh, moving forward in this this remaining journey, you know, this remaining of the season is just trust. You know, when you trust that the game will reward you when you're playing hard, you know, you're supporting your teammates and you're doing the right things, then, you know, the game usually goes in your favor. And if it doesn't, then you, you pick yourself up and you learn from it and move forward. Uh, and, I, and I think this is the only time we've been really tested throughout the season in, in terms of having losses. Looking at four losses in a row, I don't remember the last time I had four losses in a row, which is very fortunate and very blessed. But right. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's great that we get these type of challenges and now we get to go to Chicago where we have yet to win. Um, and... and play against the Eastern Conference team that we may see. So it's exciting, Chris. Thanks for your time, Kyrie. Yep. Thanks, Kyrie. Be safe, Josh. Thanks, Kyrie. Thanks, Kyrie.